one of the dopest X-Men characters so far. So Wolverine was born James Howard, um, a mutant with a animatium skin, um, a wild healing factor, and um, a skilled combatant. He's one of the top X-Men characters for me because growing up, watching that, that, that animated series, Wolverine was one of the most pivotal and important characters to the team. Um, and he still he stood his ground. And um, he would often um, look out for his team, you know, especially taking in some of the younger uh, mutants. Definitely aggressive. Definitely an aggressive um you know, and Wolverine is a lot of people's favorite character. Um, and then he doesn't really die. You know, he his healing factor is one of the most uh, craziest thing, and not a lot of mutants have that. And Wolverine is not one of the most powerful mutants, but he's dope to me. So the next mutant on my list is Quentin Quire, aka Kid Omega. Kid Omega. Kid Omega is pretty much an understudy of Wolverine. Um, that's why I put him behind Wolverine. But um, Kid Omega possesses an Omega level ability of telepathy. Um, you know, sort of like Jane Grey. Well, I don't think he's as, as strong as Jane Grey at all. But um, dope. Uh, seems like a rebel, a young rebel kid. Um, so let's discuss his powers and abilities just to make sure we're on point. Mass manipulation, telepathy tracking, telep telep telepathy, cloak, mind control, telepic illusions, mental paralysis, mental amnesia, psionic blast, and astral projection, telekinesis, psychic intelligence, normal human strength level. Kid Omega is also known to be an Omega level mutant. Cable. Cable is a mutant. Nathaniel Summers, um, I believe. Uh, he is not a clone of one of, um, he's from an alternate reality. And he's Jean Grey and Scott Summers, uh, one of their children. And um, he possesses a. Uh, Different types of abilities and strengths, but he also has been infected with the techno organic virus, and um, he would be more powerful if it was not for the fact that he had the techno organic virus. So he used most of his power to fight off the um, virus that he's uh, he comes with. Um, he has combatant, genius level intellect. Um, he's a classling. Uh, Class 10 strength level. Um, he has a cybernetic eye, cybernetic arm, and he has cybernetic restoration. Rest restoration. Cable also possesses the power of telepathy. Um, he could do different things. Telepathic cloak, telepathic illusion, uh, telepathic camouflage. Mind control, mind trap, mind possession, psionic shield, mental alteration, and mental amnesia. Psionic blast, power, kinesis, and mental detection. Bishop is a <clears throat> futuristic mutant born in the 21st century in an alternate future timeline. In which man hunting robot sentinels had taken control over North America. In this timeline, Professor X and most of the members of the mutant team he found that the X Men were killed. Surviving mutants were hunted down and either killed in prison within some type of relocation camps. Bishop's parents escaped to America shortly before the island nation of Australia was destroyed in a tactical nuclear strike. So that's pretty much. Uh, Bishop's backstory Bishop's powers and abilities I will discuss in a second I just gotta make sure I'm doing the right research so Bishop is one of those characters who sticks out to me because I believe his powers are like energy um, energy manipulation so um, yeah he has durability, fighting skills intelligence, speed and uh, strength so I want to check out his energy.
And what can what can he manipulate? Bishop's powers are energy absorption, manipulation, redirection, superhuman physical abilities and attributes. Um, extinctly to know about the present location. Jane Grey is an omega level telepath. Um, her abilities are telepathy, telekinesis, and she's a host for the Phoenix Force and while in the Phoenix Force. In addition to her own powers being magnified, she has an addition of matter manipulation on a tonic level, immortality, and teleportation as um, her extra powers when she's in the Phoenix Force. And the thing about J Jean Grey, she's already Omega level before she even reaches whatever she whatever level she hits when she's the Phoenix. Um, and she's married to Scott Summers. She's a member of the X Men, X Factors, X Force, Exterminators, um, Mirror Island X Men, the Seven Brides of Set, the Hellfire Club, the Twelve, and the Clan Rebellion. So, uh, Jean Grey's always been pretty OP. Um, she pretty much is one of those mutants that everybody should look out for. Um, she even could, uh, she, she can even, um, her telekinetic powers are so dope that she can even, uh, warp your mind in all types of ways. She can do anything she want, um, mentally with her power set. Um, it's uncharted and it's untapped and nobody knows how far it goes, so. Mystique, a.k.a. Raven Darkholm, is a shape-shifting mutant. Um, not much is known about her backstory in the past. If you believe the, um, the, the X-Men movies, which I don't really know for a fact, but I don't think the comic book story is the same as those X-Men movies from Fox, so we'll wait to see what Marvel does with her going forward, but, um, Mystique always been dope and loyal to Magneto and the Brotherhood of Mutants. And she's also loyal to her lover, apparently, Destiny. Um, she's a member of the Brotherhood of Mutants and the X-Men and the Dark X-Men. So, yeah, Mystique is pretty dope. Always dope. Crazy. Storm, one of the dopest mutants on the planet. She's an Omega-level mutant with the ability to control weather. Whether, um, Storm has been one of my favorite X-Men for a long time, especially from the comics. Um, her even dating Black, Black Panther would have been a power couple. It would have been lovely to see that in the movies. But unfortunately, um, we won't get that with T'Challa because Chadwick Boseman passed away. Um, rest in peace, brother. But um, Storm, wonderful, wonderful, creative uh, genius. Um, she hails from Africa in the comics. And uh, she's just bad, man. It's nothing else to say. She's bad. She can kill you by manipulating weather or manipulating the storm. Rip your body apart with a tornado. Like, she just dope, man. It's, it's storm. Magneto, the father of magnetism. Well, the wielder of magnetism. An omega level mutant, but he's also the father of Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. Now, the thing about that, I mean, whatever the MCU decides to do with that situation, it is what it is. But from my knowledge in the comics, yeah, Magneto's uh, Scarlet and uh, Quicksilver's father. But, man, this dude is, like, super OP, the power of magnetism. Um, he can move metal from within your body and everything else. But that's not... The thing that makes him OP, this motherfucker can move a planet with metal in it, an entire planet. Magneto is a bad dude, man. Bad dude. Apocalypse is the big bad wolf of the mutants. Um, one of the first mutants, he's like a thousand, four thousand years old. At this point, I forgot. But this motherfucker, is, excuse my friends, this dude is OP. You know, he does what he wants. Um... He's going to do what he wants. He's a ruler in his own right. You know what I mean, and he's worked with all types of uh, beings to, to enhance his power. Now, if I'm not mistaken, he borrowed powers from the Celestials or somebody to um, enhance his powers and work on himself um, for uh, thousands of years. Or so it could have been in terms, I'm not sure. 
those to me are some of the scariest and uh, craziest mutant power sets um, ever, man. Love those characters.